So how would you uh, define edge computing and uh, uh, um, what are the business cases in, in an industrial setting? All right. I always get in trouble trying to define edge computing. Um, I've learned over the years, it turns out there's many edges, <laughs> yeah. um, especially, you know, so um, if I go back in time and I spent more time, uh, maybe more in the industrial manufacturing setting with edge, uh, especially when I was at Hitachi doing Lumata, you know, I, I, I thought about edge computing primarily as, um, you know, these little gateway type edge devices compute that might be near machines in a factory uh, and they might talk to PLCs or they might connect to lots of different machines and aggregate data, you know, using all kinds of weird wire protocols that you see in the industrial setting that are pretty bizarre to most people, I think, uh, with serial ports and things. And so that was kind of my first feeling about what edge computing was, was just initially it was almost like a data router in some ways, almost like, um, you know, like a, a Cisco router getting stuff from inside out to the internet. Um, you know, cause when I first, when I was, when I was doing I IOT at Microsoft and we were building Azure IOT uh, in the cloud, I think there was a naive idea that IOT was going to be trillions of IPv6 devices all connecting to the cloud. And of course they were wrong. <laughs> as soon as you went into a building, that's not how things worked. Uh, and so then there was a baby step of, oh, well, well, we'll route things that are inside a building through some edge gateway thing out to the internet. Uh, but that didn't always turn out to be true either. Um, uh, you know, and you saw the rise of discussions of things like fog computing uh, along the way. But the idea of, hey, you know what, I need the answer to my question really quickly in milliseconds. And so the idea of moving this edge compute closer to machines uh, where I can get telemetry and maybe I can put, you know, start it off by putting basic analytics, you know, could be if this, then that, you know, like a complex event processor kind of thing on these edge devices, you know, a little PC, a rugged PC. So you started seeing that. Um, I certainly talked to people who go, well, maybe the edge is right on the machine. Um, if the, the particular piece of machinery, let's say in a factory has enough embedded compute networking and storage capabilities, maybe it can do some analytics right there on the machine itself. And I'll hear people say, well, isn't that the edge too? Maybe. Um, and then I'd say more recently, more interestingly, since I've been with Ericsson, uh, in the telecom world uh, with mobile operators and cellular and obviously all this 5G, they've got a view of the edge where it's running at the edge of the cellular network. Um, and so maybe at a base station, like at the bottom of a cellular tower uh, or inside uh, data centers that are inside a city that no one even knows about, these, um, these metro data centers that are controlled by mobile operators. Uh, they all have something in common. They're all trying to intercept the data sooner, closer to the machine than if you wait till you get to some distant cloud, for instance, uh, and then being able to analyze and take actions on that data and insights, you know, more quickly and more closely. Um, so it's, it's certainly grown into a spectrum of edges for sure, depending on who you talk to. You know, the business case for the edge uh, is latency a lot of times and speed. Uh, I want to be closer to the data so I can, again, if I'm putting analytics, pushing, you'll see people using containers to push analytics out to the edge some, in lots of different ways. Uh, I want to get answers to my questions. I want to do that closer. Uh, other business cases are also around uh, like security or data sovereignty. Uh, a lot of big, you know, especially when I was doing stuff in manufacturing with Hitachi, you have lots of companies where the plant manager of a factory still says the data doesn't leave my factory and it will never go to the cloud. And so I have to do everything on premise uh, and maybe not even in a data center, maybe putting compute computers, machines right there on the factory floor. Um, and so interesting different business cases, but a lot of it is around speed and performance. Um, 
I'll tell you one interesting thing. Back when I remember when I was uh, at Microsoft, when we were incubating Azure IoT, I remember us talking to some people. At, at, there's a big factory, you know, plant north of Seattle. And we'd tell them about how all the amazing capabilities that Azure IoT had and streaming analytics and machine learning. And I just remember the guy saying, that's just great. Tell me the version of that that runs right here because it cost me too much money. <laughs> he goes, I have all these big machines that I use to make even bigger machines in my factory and they are spitting out terabytes of data every hour. And it's too expensive for me to send that terabytes of data over expensive bandwidth to your distant cloud to munch on that data for a while and maybe come up with some insights. Uh, and so expense, just bandwidth, depending on how much data they send. So, you know, you see all kinds of business cases around the edge for sure.